Yes, people, back outside Villa Park. And it's a different kind of concept, people. Just going to get fans on the channel, give their opinion on the game yesterday. Of course, Aston Villa have crashed out the Carabao Cup after losing against Crystal Palace. Man, I have to say, I'm still gutted. I'm still gutted. But, people, let's get a few fans on. Let them have their say. And, yeah, people, like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy this and up the Villa. Yes, people, back outside Villa Park and we've got Michael. Michael, I just want to get your thoughts on Aston Villa's defeat yesterday against Crystal Palace, of course, without the Carabao Cup. Just your overall thoughts. Yeah, well, um, from a fan's perspective, disappointing. I was yeah. down there, brought my kids down to the first game, so a bit of a reality check and not often we're losing at Villa Park. Um, given the nature of what we're doing outside of things with regards to the Premier League, yeah. Champions League format, sitting pretty at the top of the... You understood that there would be a change with regards to the squad. Disappointing to see some of the, the fringe players or, or the more inexperienced ones really not, not take that um, to, to the next level. And, and I think probably on, on the face of it, Palace deserved the win. Yeah. Um, I think we've got to be realistic. You know, We've got a good squad, um, but we've still got guys like Tyro Mings, Kamara, Buendia. They're still very raw in coming back from long-term injuries. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're not at a foot and match pace yet and, and we don't want them having bigger risks and, and bigger injuries. I think if we lost three or four key players, that would really jeopardise the rest of our season with regards yeah. to Champions League and Premier League aspirations. I think from a from a Villa fan's perspective, me being nearly 40, I've only seen two League Cup wins. Yeah. Certainly yeah, you're lucky, I ain't seen anything. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen so anything. I am, I am certainly looking at um, really wanting to see. I know I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping Emery wins something with us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The Premier League and the Champions League, you said this two, three years ago, you'd have laughed, you know. Yeah, definitely. We are in really strong positions to be challenging, which is incredible. Uh, but from our perspective, look, I'd love to see, and I think it was such an easy... It, we were in the quarterfinals, we win that game because we got yeah, the pass yeah. for not being in the Champions League. So it's really disappointing to go out. But I understand the need for him to change his squad round because we've got a big, massive games against Tottenham on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. the Premier League and Champions League just take priority. Yeah, just talking about priority, do you think this wasn't, wasn't an Unai Emery's priority? Because for me, he always says Premier League is its number one, then I think it's the Champions League, FA Cup, then the Carabao Cup. So yeah. do you think it was his fourth priority? I think now we're becoming one of those bigger clubs yeah. where we sit in the Premier League. That is how it is. Look at Man City, changed their teams around now, they had injuries. Um, so you're expected to see the weakened teams. Did Emery go out to lose that game yesterday? No. So, um, you know, he's, he's put a squad out and a team out there that he thinks can compete and, and potentially should have done better. Um, but I think with a lot of the, the long-term injuries coming back, um, there, there's always a risk and that is always a case of... Uh, it, was, it was a cagey game, yeah, uh, yeah. scrappy game. There wasn't much in it. There's a few poor touches and, and what have you and, and, and the goals came about from those chances. So, uh, it's just one of them. I think we've just got to suck it up and, and, and just appreciate where we're at with yeah, the other elements. Uh, just final one. few individual performances, I think. Tyrone Mings, Kamara. Uh, Durano as well, just your thoughts on them, do you think they played well yesterday? Yeah, uh, key players, uh, Duran, you know, yeah. uh, he, he, he just still gets another goal and, and the great thing is now he's, he's putting a goal to bed without having to come off from the bench yeah, um, he, and he was, he, he didn't have great, great um, balls up to him in, in, over the course of the game. Uh, out of the ones that you mentioned there, Kamara really impressed me Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I've got to say, he was the biggest influence about with Douglas Louise being so pro, um, productive last year. When when we lost Kamara, I don't think we saw the best out of Douglas Louise out of that either. Um, so it shows you the influence and impact he has, and he really impressed me considering he's been out the longest uh, with his return rate. So yeah, look, the rustiness will creep out of it. Great to see Mings. You know, he's, he's a fan's favourite and. Well, unfortunately for him, we are really strong in that centre centre yeah, back department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so there's no given he'll be in the starting eleven on, on a strong match day. But what what a, what a I suppose uh, strength in depth we've got in that in that area now. Um, so so that was pleasing to see to get minutes under the belts because look we've got the FA Cup then that's starting yeah, the new year yeah. um, with Champions League and, and and the push on the Premier League now. Rodri's injured. I think everyone uh, outside of Man City's teams now are thinking they've got half a chance. Yeah, yeah. And we beat Man City when yeah. when he was out of the team. Yeah, so we did, definitely yeah. So. Who knows? Yeah, look, we'll keep pushing on. Definitely, Michael. Nice one, mate. Up Thank the you. villa. No worries. All right. Thank nice you. one. Yes, people, we have got Nick. Nick, how are you doing? You okay? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Nick, I want to get your thoughts on Aston Villa's defeat yesterday, of course. We're out the Carabao Cup. Yeah. Last against Crystal Palace. Just your overall thoughts, opinions on the game yesterday. Okay, well, I thought it was a reasonable game and I thought it was great that John Duran was starting. It was nice to see that. I think yeah. he's uh, been getting a bit upset, hasn't he, about uh, yeah, yeah, not, not winning a full game, so yeah. it's good. Um, so it was a bit of a shock, to be honest, that we lost. I think uh, it's good that Duran scored the goal, but it was, yeah, it was a bit disappointing to lose, really. 
Yeah, definitely. Of course, as well, Unai Emery, he did make a lot of rotation. Understandable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Players, they need game time yeah. and stuff. But do you yeah. think that with the bench, he possibly could have put a few starting 11 players on the bench? We had Matty Cash and Jacob Ramsey, but do you think Morgan Rodgers, players like that, could have been on the bench as well? Well, I suppose he's with because we're in the Champions League and everything. We've got yeah. to we've got to save the legs a bit. So I think yeah. he wanted to give people uh, an outing. So I think that's probably sensible. And it was great to see Mings out there again. Yeah. What um, a performance from Mings! Absolutely brilliant. It was great to see him. So I think probably yeah, it was the right thing. I mean, who's who's going to doubt for Professor Unai anyway? But yeah. uh, I think uh, that was okay. It was just uh, we should have won really. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Nice one, yeah. up the villa. Yes, people, we have got Martin and George. Martin, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. George, you okay? Yes. Let's get your thoughts on the game yesterday, of course, coming back from the loss against Crystal Palace. We're at the Carabao Cup. Let's, see, let's get your thoughts first, mate. Uh, I think Villa were very good. We just we couldn't get our chances away, so that is why we lost 2-1. Yeah, um, some individual performances, though. Tyrone Mings, nice to see him back, isn't it? Yeah, um, Tyrone Mings did well. Um, it's good to see him back on the pitch. Yeah. So, and uh, I think John Duran did well as well. He was yeah. one of my man in the matches yesterday. Definitely agree. And Bubakar Kamara as well. Very good performance from him yesterday as well, wasn't it? Yeah, Definitely. it was. Um, your thoughts, mate? What did you make of it? I think we was always going to lose yesterday. I had that sneaky feeling, especially when he had, had that team out. Even though there some good players, I still don't think we miss, like... Miss like your Pau Tillemans and stuff like that. So, you know, Kamara stepping in. I thought was probably a little bit disappointed on the wings, like Jaden didn't perform yeah. that well, didn't really get yeah. past the man, did he? Yeah, when no. he tried to do things, it didn't come off. Yeah. So, I think we missed that, like Morgan Rogers driving from midfield. We just exactly. didn't have that yesterday. And then, so yeah. it was relying on the wingers to do something. And then I think Jaden didn't really step up that yeah, time, did he? Really? Yeah, definitely. He's talking on Jaden. I, I was hoping he, could, he would step up, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a big chance for him, you know what I mean? Premier League opposition, I was, I was hoping he can, he can get the ball and drive at players, but just didn't see it, did we? No, we didn't see it yesterday. I think it's a little bit it's one of those underwhelming like games where you know you're not you're not going to be completely on your game but Palace are playing well at the minute and yeah. you look at their defence yeah. Gay they had Warton who come off uh, yeah. as they in there and uh, probably was that Chalabo as well wasn't yeah, it yeah. the, the defence is amazing isn't yeah. it when you think about it so you need something special to open that up and we didn't yeah. really have that yesterday who would you say man of the match was yesterday for Villa side yeah it's, it's hard to say. I think Kamara didn't put a foot wrong. He no. covered the lines. You can see where he's easily just going to slot in and again. Yeah, but yeah. but he, we needed somebody else alongside him, really. Definitely, yeah, definitely. yeah. All right, lads, we move on now. Of course, we've got Tottenham. Uh, quick predictions for that. What do you think? I'm, I'm hoping we sneak a win. I'm hoping it'll be the same as last season, which yeah. was a big win, really. It was under the pressure last, last season, but we seem to just pull off a, a 2 1 win. And I think the will step it up again. So yeah. sneaky by an odd goal will be really good. Nice one. And yourself, George? Uh, Tottenham are a good team, it will be hard to get past them, but I reckon we'll be able to pull a win off. Nice one, up the villa lads. Up the villa. Up the villa. Yes people, we have got the legend. Gerald, how you doing, you okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Gerald, I want to get your thoughts on the defeat yesterday against Crystal Palace. We had that Carabao Cup, just your overall thoughts and opinions on the game well, yesterday. It was good to see Tyrone Mings and uh, Bubakar Kamara playing. Yeah. Um, they made a few mistakes. We missed a lot of chances. So it could have been better, but it's pretty much what I expected, to be honest, with the team that we'd got out. Yep. But it's also good that they all get a run out. And, Definitely. And some of the better players, for want of a better word, had a rest. Uh, talking about rest as well, do you think Unai Emery should have perhaps had a few starters on the bench, maybe a Morgan Rogers? Um... No, because they they had a proper rest, mm. so they weren't they weren't there yeah. um, for that reason. I think a few standout players for you as well. Uh, Tyrone Mings, Bubakar Kamara. Kamara had a very good game. Mings played very well. I think he was dead on his feet at the end of the game. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought those two played quite well. I was a little bit disappointed in uh, Emmy Bondier. Yeah, didn't I think he. Well, yeah affected the game as much as he could have done last night and um, Bailey's just very very low on confidence at the moment he's certainly not the player that he was no. last season yeah yeah I mean yeah. He, he did have a few shots especially in the, in the first half wasn't yeah, it but, but they weren't as crisp as he was no, uh, no. producing last season no. um, he's still lacking in confidence I think I don't really know why he should after such a good season 
last year. Yeah, but, yeah. And I thought, I don't like to knock players, but I didn't think Philogene was very good last night either. No, and talking about Philogene, I've discussed it with a few Villa fans previous as well, and I did say, it's a Premier League opposition, you know what I mean? This is a big chance for you yeah. to show up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never saw the 1v1 ability, no. the ability to take players on. It just wasn't there, wasn't no. it? No, I feel that he's probably better on the right-hand side, to be oh, honest, yeah. than the left. But uh, yes, as you say, he could have done He could have done better, stamped his authority on the game, made it, made the manager difficult to drop him. Yeah, yeah. But, didn't happen so well listen mate it is what it is of course now we keep it moving to Tottenham away just a quick prediction on that that's a tough one two each two new okay two two fair enough nice one mate okay legend up the villa yes always there you go villains the villa fans have had their say on the defeat yesterday against Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup we all got it however we keep it moving and it's not all doom and gloom because we're still on top of the Champions League table. We've still got the Premier League to look forward to and the FA Cup as well. So like I said, it's not all doom and gloom villains. But yeah, man, if you'd like to see more of this type of content, people, let me know in the comments below. Um, please do, people. Um, and yeah, man, I'll be back with some more type of content. If you guys do enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, people. And I'm out. Up the villa.